Hey there, NFL fanatics. It is your host here. It is Rai Rai, and we are going to give you a recap for week six. But before that, week seven. But before that, again, we're going to tell everyone how we did last week for week six. So, once again, Michael, take it away. Last week, I went 11 and 4. Wow, you finally beat me. You finally beat me. Okay, my record was nine and six, so you you finally beat me. Finally. Okay. Yeah, so overall, what's your overall record so far, Michael? 42. Okay. Okay, my record is fifty seven wins and thirty four losses. I still got some I still gotta gain some on you. Yeah. Okay. For tonight, for Thursday night football is the Denver Broncos are 2-4 and four versus the Arizona Cardinals are 1-5. I'm going with Denver, you know, with their defense, and they finally get their act together. So who you got in this matchup? Uh, Von Miller promised to win, so I'm going to pick uh, the Denver Broncos in this one. Okay, next matchup, the Tennessee Titans are 3-3 three and three versus the L.A. Chargers are 4-2. and two. I'm going with the Chargers at home. Who you got in this matchup, Michael? I'm actually going to pick the Tennessee Titans in the upset on this one. Okay, next matchup. This is going to be a very tough one to pick, but... Okay, Tom Brady and New England Patriots are 4-2 and two versus my Bears are 3-2. and two. Uh, I'm going with the Patriots. I mean, I like the Bears, don't get me wrong, but I was very disappointed they, they did not... Um, Seal of victory last week, you know? They, like, fell apart second half last week. Yeah. So... I'm going to pick the Patriots. Now watch. The Bears will shock the world and beat the Patriots. I'd be surprised. <laughs> See, last week, one of my four losses was the Redskins. I had them losing to Carolina, and they won. See? Go figure. I know, right? So, I mean, Bears looked pretty good the first half, Michael, but they stopped um, Mac and... That's why um, Bears did not give no sacks to uh, B- Dolphins. So I was kind of disappointed, but they look pretty good. They get better each week, you know, the Bears. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Oh, okay. That's okay. I say the Bears are getting better each week, my friend, you know? Yeah, they are. Starting, especially offensively, I think they're starting to become a lot better on the offense. Yes. Okay, next matchup, the the Buffalo Bills are two and four. They're on road versus the the, um, the Indianapolis Colts are one and five. They're at home. I'm going with Buffalo. Colts are just not a very good team right now, you know. Who you got in this matchup, Michael? I'm gonna pick the Indianapolis Colts at home in this one. Okay, for for like an upset pick. Yeah. Okay, next matchup, the Houston Texans are three and three versus another three and three team, Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm going with, with uh, 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 Texans on the road. Who you have in this matchup, Michael? I'm actually picking the Texans as well. Yeah, I'm not very happy with uh, Jacksonville. They just give up too many points last week against the Cowboys. 40 points? Jesus. Yeah, they looked terrible last week against Dak Prescott. I don't know if they're going to bounce back, but they're not the same defense as last year at all. No. They're not the same defense that they was earlier this year. Man, God. I know it's early in the season still. I know it, they could still be a playoff bomb, but still, come on, Jacksonville. Get your head out of your butt. But I guarantee, watch, we won't pick them, and they'll win on Sunday. Watch. I, 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 I think they will. Yep. Next matchup, next matchup the, the Detroit Lions are 2-3 and three versus the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins are 4-2. and two. Dolphins are at home. I'm going with the Dolphins. They look pretty good against the Bears. Second half. And who you got in this matchup? I'm going to pick the Detroit Lions in this one. I think they're starting to get it together a little bit. Okay, next matchup, the Minnesota Vikings are 3-2-1 on the road versus the, uh, the Jets are 3-3. Three three. I'm going with the Jets at home. Who do you have in this matchup? 
I'm going to pick the Minnesota Vikings in this one. Okay. Next matchup, the Carolina Panthers are 3-2 and two versus the defending Super Bowl champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm going to go at Philly at home. Who you have, Michael? I'm going to pick Philadelphia as well in this one. I agree with you. Okay, next matchup. Uh, the Cleveland Browns are 3-2-1. and one. The Ron Road versus the Buccaneers are 3-2. and two. I'm going with the Browns for an upset pick on the road. Who you have for this matchup, Michael? I'm actually picking Cleveland as well. I'm like, I agree with you. Yeah, but I don't know what's wrong. And then you know or don't know that they fired the defense coach for the, the Buccaneers recently. They gave up 20 points recently, you know? So, yep. ne next matchup, Bruce. Their defense has been terrible. Yes, Drew Brees and company, he owns the the passing record. That's awesome for him. 4 1 versus another good team. Uh, Joe Flacco and the Ravens are 4 2. I'm going with the Saints on the road. Who you have in this matchup? Uh, a little fun fact Drew Brees has beaten every NFL team besides the Baltimore Ravens. No. He's never beat the Ravens. No way, come on, really? That's, yep, that's the only team he's got left, and I say he finally gets his victory this weekend against well, the Ravens. I never knew that. Uh, I never knew about that one. Yeah. Okay, that's next. Wow, that's, that's me. Next matchup, the Dallas Cowboys are 3-3 three and three versus your team. The Washington Redskins, or Redskins are 3-2. and two. I'm going with the hell, I'm going with um, Washington for an upset pick. Who you have in this matchup, there Michael? We go. There we go. I'm picking the Redskins. We do not lose the Cowboys. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I know Dallas won last week, but that was just a fluke. They're not very good this year at all. Bar none. They're not. I'm hoping for the Redskins to beat them down. Okay, next matchup. The only undefeated team left in the NFL is the Los Angeles Rams, or 6-0, versus... The San Francisco 49ers are 105. Niners are at home. I'm going with the Rams. They look very good on offense, defense. They have the whole works right now. Who do you have in this matchup, Michael? Yeah, it's hard to pick against the Rams, especially with Jimmy Garoppolo out for the 49ers. Yeah. If Garoppolo is playing, 49ers have a chance, but Beathard, I just don't see it. Yeah, me neither, but you never know. It, it might be a close game. You know, maybe uh, um, the kicker might kick a winning field goal, you know? <laughs> Oh yeah, it is a divisional game. I forgot about that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, next matchup for Sunday Night Football. I don't give a damn about this matchup, but whatever. The Cincinnati Bengals are 4-2 and two on the road versus the Kansas City Chiefs are 5-1. and one. They actually should be undefeated, but whatever. Uh, I'm going um, the Bengals for an upset pick. Who do you have in this matchup? Uh, I'm going to pick Kansas City. I just don't think Cincinnati. Cincinnati's got the way better defense than offense, but I just don't think they can. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed that um, uh, Patriots beat Kansas City. They came back and won that game, you know? Yeah, I'll go for the Chiefs. Yeah, that was a very good game, but still, Tom Brady and um, the tight end, they have, you know, they have great chemistry. The defense is not very good. They gave up too many uh, yards last week. Awful. Oh, yeah. Their defense. But they could still turn around, you know. I don't think they have a bye week, have they, Patriots? No. Yeah, not. probably it's coming up very soon. Now, for Monday Night Football, another one I don't give a darn about. Eli and the New York Giants are 1-5 versus Matt Ryan and uh, Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons are 2-4 and four at home. I'm going with the Falcons at home. I am tr I'm cheering for Atlanta big time in this one. I do not like the Giants, so I'm rooting. All the way. Yeah, because that's your division rival also. Um, Falcons have great offense. The defense is not very good if they want to make a playoff push, you know. I know it's early still, but they got to get their act together, you know. Yep, I agree. So, um, that's our recap. Those are our picks. That's our overall picks for the whole season so far. So, what games you got wrong so far for week six? Let's go back real quick. Uh, I got Philadelphia and the Giants wrong. I picked the Giants. I got my, I had the Bears and Miami wrong. It was a I, I had the Bears winning. I had the Jet, I had the Colts beating the Jets. I was wrong on that one, and I was wrong on the Redskins of Carolina. The rest oh. I got right. Okay, the ones I got wrong is the Cincinnati game. I got wrong. I was I was 
unhappy, but whatever. Um, I got the Bears wrong. I got the um, Dolphins, you know, Bears wrong. I got the um, Washington game wrong. And I got the Cowboys wrong. Jesus. Uh, Ravens wrong and the Chiefs wrong. It just, like, all went downhill, you know? I hear you on that. And I got, I, I, and I got, I did get the Packers game right. You got that one right or wrong for Monday Night Football last week? Yeah, I got, got it right. Okay. They almost lost that game too. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I got any of the late games wrong. I got every game after the one o'clock games, I got every one of them right. All the I, did you pick Tennessee or you picked the uh, Ravens in that matchup? I, I picked the Ravens and I had the Cowboys beating Jacksonville. Oh, you did? Okay. So I'm not too happy with Jacksonville. Do you think they'll fix their defense, or do you think this is going to be it for them for the rest of the season? Crappy year. I, I think they'll get it going. Okay. I think what hurt, what's hurting Jacksonville a lot is their starting running back play. Yeah. Like they got Jamal Williams, and they got Jamal Williams back. Yeah. 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 And they got He's not playing this week? No. Damn. Wow. So, well, why the hell they just don't put... Why the hell they just don't put, like, Icy Hot or something to, um, um, to um, relax the muscle, you know? Well, they did a few weeks ago when he, he come back and played, played in the first quarter and then it started hurting him again. So then they pulled him out again and he's been out two weeks. You know what? Probably these athletes don't um, um, work out when the season's over, you know what I'm saying? They don't work out at all, probably. Yeah. I mean, I mean when the. I mean when the preseason's over, they don't say, you know what, preseason over, I don't give a darn anymore. No you need to work out all the time, NFL players, you know. Yeah. They make all that money and uh, they they they're uh, NFL superstars and they're injured, you know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And that. Okay, really quickly, before we sign off, is the, um, let's see here, hmm, let's see here, uh, maybe the Bears-Patriots, maybe, it might be a good game, it might be a blowout, I don't know, uh, maybe the Philly and the uh, Panthers game, they look like a very good matchup, you know? The other games are just giving me a lot of garbage. Maybe. I don't know. The games I'm most excited for is the Bears and Patriots. I think that'll be a fun one. Miami and Detroit will be a close game. Uh, Philadelphia and Carolina will be close. Tampa Bay and Cleveland will probably be the most fun game to watch because I think that's going to be a shootout. Cause both the, well, Cleveland's got pretty decent defense, but Tampa has no defense. And I think uh, Baltimore and and New Orleans would be a good one. Number one defense versus number one. Pull out the top three offense. Are you hungry? Okay, so, yeah. So, hopefully some good games. Hopefully none of them will be blowout. out. Hopefully none of them, Michael, go into a tie session. That would suck for both of us. Gosh, I hate these ties. There have been so many this year. And I thought last week, I thought the Bears and Dolphins was going to be as one for well. Yeah. They they need a NFL needs to change that freaking rule this um coming up um winter um meetings, but they won't do nothing. They will leave it as is. I agree. I agree hundred percent with the hope they change that. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off here. Enjoy your night and hopefully you are you watch the game tonight or you you gonna skip I know you say you go on movies tonight. Yeah, I'm going to the movies. I'm watching the new Halloween movie. Awesome. I might watch some other game. Um, what do you think about the rookie quarterback for Arizona? He looks pretty good so far, huh? Yeah, he's got some, he's, he looks promising. I mean, he's still got a long way to go, but all rookie quarterbacks pretty much do. I mean, I think he's got potential, though. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm going to sign off here. Have a good one, and, um, thank you very much for listening, my viewers. You got anything to say to sign off, Michael? You got anything else to say? Nope, I'll see you all next week, everyone. Okay, goodbye, Michael. Later.